So I just left the Book and Music Exchange. I would have filmed me going in there, but I got a little nervous because there's a bunch of people there today. But don't worry, I did film a lot inside. So I'm gonna splice this all together and I'll show you my haul. All right, so I'm gonna start off in the book section here. Um, they have a nice little book section. I am a fan of the fantasy, personally. Um, but right over here is really why I came me, in I'm the sorry. first place. It's for the dollar bin and the 50 cent bin. Um, I love hunting the dollar bins, and this is one of my favorite spots. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the bins. Um, the Great Escape Louisville, also probably my number one spot for dollar bin hunting as far as coming up on gems and keys and just overall cool stuff but as you can see i am going to start to find some cool stuff in here um but yeah this is uh just me going through the 50 cent bin here uh not a whole lot i could have seen in here um let me know again if you guys see anything in the comments let me know if i should have picked it up or if i should go back and check it out a lot of these things i'm just you know going quickly looking through to see anything that catches my eye but I'm not like a super expert. I do know gems and keys, but I don't know all of them. So if anyone sees anything, let me know. Um, but here we got some Batman and Robin. Um, this is still the 50 cent bin, by the way. Um, yeah, just looking around. This is uh, me recording over this footage. So this I already went in there. Um, like I said, there were a lot of people in here, so I didn't really say anything because I was already getting weird looks. And I don't know if this is... Other YouTubers have this problem, but uh, I don't really consider it a problem. I don't know if it's social anxiety or what, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like I get stared at when I record in public. I need to get over that and start making more videos like this. Um, but that Captain Adam one looked kind of cool. I just, I don't know. I didn't pick it up. Um, I did pull this these two new 52 issues, but I did not end up buying them. Um, they are cool, though. I did used to have both of them. Uh, back when I was younger, so uh, Forever Evil was good in my opinion. It was uh, very immersive at the time. Cool uh, little Firestorm cover for an anniversary issue, but it was uh, really beat up, so I decided to pass on it. Next is that Call of Duty issue one, and I couldn't really uh, tell if this was related to the game or not, so. I ended up passing on it too. I, I'm sure I could have Googled it, but uh, I just didn't. Again, it wasn't the 50 cent bin. That was really cool, and that actually wasn't in the bin. It was from the bin, but it was just standing on top of it. Sitting on top of it, not standing. So now I'm looking into the, the dollar bins. A lot of the uh, new 52, and you're going to find this uh, anywhere you go. Anywhere that has like a value bin, full of new 52. Commandi issue. Um, I believe that might be silver, uh, early bronze, if not, but that is Kirby art, so pretty sick. Again, decided to pass. Had a lot of these uh, Magnus issue 25s. I guess somebody was speculating because of the foil cover. Love seeing a speculator. Um, Deathmate issue 1. I think they had a few of those. This was pretty cool. Um, nice vibrant color, but it was a bit bent, so I did end up passing on this ultimately. But nonetheless, it was a pretty cool looking Ghost Rider cover. And again, I don't know if that's worth anything or not, but let me know. Some Jeff Johns, Green Lantern, and another Death Mate issue one. You're always going to find those. That's why I never pick them up. I've seen maybe 100 copies of those <clears throat> in my lifetime, if not more. Some uh, old JLA, and if you peek the Elmer Fudd back there. Okay, we got a West Coast Avengers. That's a pretty cool uh, Silver Centurion on the cover. Spectacular. You got some alpha fly bass. You can see that uh, friggin' cover is bent on that icon and the uh, other one. 
I went ahead and passed on this too, because this would have just been for reading, and I didn't really keep up to date with that uh, Robin series, so passed on it. My cat's hopping around over here, chasing flies. Marvel has been putting out some uh, really, really good uh, Star Wars comics. This was cool. I'm a big War Machine fan, so I did check that out. Didn't buy it, though. And again, you know, if, if you're looking to read stuff, these dollar bins always have uh, more recent stuff. Like the Teen, Teen Titans Academy and the uh, Fear State book. Another Kamandi. This one looks to be in uh, better condition. I didn't grab it, but uh, next time I might have to if they still have it. Some of the new Silver Surfer series. Um, some High Republic. Here I found something cool. Um, some Bronze Age Green Lantern John Stewart cover. Always uh, pretty cool to find. Uh, some Zdarsky Daredevil. More recent, again, for the reading stack. retreading my steps here you got radiant red issue two that issue one i would have picked them both up uh the index to amazing spider-man that was in pristine condition by the way this was a uh, pretty cool looking not sure who uh the quester is but uh cool spider-man cover some epic comics uh havoc and wolverine red robin that's a more recent arkham series and i think it is black label Always going to find a lot of Sergeant Fury, and uh, Nick Fury for that matter. Uh, this is this on most spot, uh, also passed, but uh, more recent Usaga Yojimbo issues. So that's pretty cool, they had 4 through 6. And here, um, some mid, rating black issues, mid, mid tier, not, not like uh, they're mid comics, but they're just like uh, middle of the run. I click that in trade, so I passed on those. A lot of X-Force, some uh, Batman and Robin. This is pre-52. Those are pretty cool. Um, Grifter issue one. That was real cool. A lot of X-Factor, and I don't know anything about X-Factor, so I don't know if any of these are worth anything, but uh, yeah. This is Scott Snyder book. Kind of bent that there, but that was unintentional, so please do not kill me in the comments for that. Part of me, I just yawned. That's a more recent uh, Excalibur issue, as well as that uh, Robin series that came out earlier this year. Thought that was pretty cool too. Fans of the Authority, you guys probably would have picked that up. I don't really, uh, I haven't read much of it, but I do like Midnighter, he's a cool character. Um, that was pretty cool, Vertigo Jam, so I had to put that in the stack. Some of the Outsiders books, Silver Age, Red Wolf, always gotta look for that Silver Age Marvel. That stuff is dynamite. And they, they just put them out, they put them in the movies, so just buy them, just buy them all. Even if they're not worth anything, they're real cool to have. And again, some more recent issues, um, in the back here we have... A Flash and a Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman. All good stuff for reading. Even collecting. But I don't know that they're keys. But they would just be fun to have and to read. Now I'm going to go back and look in the 50 cent bin here. And I picked out this Animal Man. 
which was actually supposed to be in the dollar bin, so I ended up passing on it. Although it is cool. I would just rather pick it up and trade. That cause R1 was cool, but uh had some markings on it. And that's going to round. So this is kind of where they keep their uh, recent new arrivals. So I always like to check this out, see if anything catches my eye. Um, I did already head to my local comic store this week, so uh, not a whole lot here that I wanted that I hadn't already picked up. Um, they do have a few facet meal comics, though, that are pretty cool. And I'm not a big collector of those just because I'd rather just get the original and hunt that down. But, I mean, I guess if you want to read the first issue or you just want to own it, you know, there you go, you have it. Um, I have seen people scam on eBay as well, um, but I did pick up a Sandman uh, fast meal, but I didn't end up buying it just because I, uh, and like, you know what, I, I might just try to track down this issue one myself, um, but this is just a, a nice little key box here, um, a lot of key issues in here, just uh, more collectible stuff, um, but also prices are not too bad on most of this, um, but as you can see, um, I'm getting to some Silver Age Batman, um, some just some cool stuff, this was pretty cool. For $4.99. Um, I didn't pick any of this up, but uh, you know, next time I probably will. There are a few things that uh, when I go back, I'm definitely getting. Uh, that Nightfall was also sick. World War Hulk, $3.99. Not bad, not bad. Again, a lot of cool stuff in this box. Some Iron Man, and that looks like uh, early bronze, late silver. So, and again, the prices on these man seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Um, almost picked up this uh, spectacular Spider Man here, but uh, I decided not to just because it was eight bucks. But it does look pretty crisp. I am dealing with a limited budget here, guys. So hopefully, when I sell more, I'll have a bigger budget to uh, work with. But uh, a lot of seven ninety nine, uh, spectacular. This was also really cool. Almost bought that one as well. And again, I'm sure they might still be there when I get back the next time. So we'll have to see about picking some up. Um, these are more recent. Um, I did want to take a look at these. Uh, G.I. Joe, see if they were anything uh, significant. Nothing that I could tell. But again, not very knowledgeable on G.I. Joe. So if they were worth anything, please let me know in the comments down below. Um... We have more Silk, um, some Batman 52, uh, Batman Inc. Cool copies, cool copies. Um, these were super sick. I really might have to go back and uh, buy this next one here. It is a fifth printing, and as you can see with that white Batman logo, you do not see that uh, often. So that one I probably should, or it's a fourth printing, I'm sorry. That one I probably should have bought, so hopefully it will be there when I go next time. But uh, that one's really cool. Um, the infamous What If Miles Morales, I do have that issue too. Uh, the only ones that I don't have are the final issue and the, uh, um, the most uh, acclaimed the uh, Thor issue and you know it's not that I want to collect them because they are racist in a way uh, that's a controversy that I'm not going to get into but uh, I do want them just because people do pay money for controversial comics so I do want that whole set so if I ever find it I will have to buy it but not not just for my own pleasure just just because uh, controversial comics sell and uh, when you're one to make money off this stuff you will buy it so Again, some, uh, that's the final issue. I thought, oh, is this the Thor one? No, it's the final. And uh, you saw that Fasimil Moon Knight. Again, a lot of this is more recent, but uh, still cool nonetheless. And uh, we're getting to some more Silver Age. We got uh, Teen Titans, which that's pretty dope as well. This Thor was awesome, but super beat up. But that Silver Age Kirby Thor, man, it almost justifies that. Eight bucks, I don't think is bad. So I might have to pick that one up as well next time I stop by. That's also a pretty awesome Batman key for $7.99. 
Some Savage Avengers. That was pretty cool. Punisher Max, uh, Marvel Zombies one shot. And then we have some Silver Age, uh, Nick Fury, and some uh, original uh, Malibu comics. Milestone comics, I'm sorry, not Malibu. Please do not kill me in the comments. Submariner. I'm starting to collect Namor stuff just because uh, he will be in Black Panther. I am expecting a rise in value if uh, it goes over well. So, this is kind of the large format magazine printing comics so I did check them out just to just to see what was going on there uh, nothing that really caught my eye a lot of Disney uh, would have liked some uh, savage sort of Conan but uh, maybe next time here's some uh, more recent arrivals as well as uh, just a look at some of the other things they sell um, I did go through that Conan stack over there and uh, found the one issue that I wanted. You actually saw that on top of the stack. There. Um, but I did also look through the old spawn issues. They had some cool stuff there. Um, the back issues here are uh, impeccable. If you were looking for it, you might find it. Alrighty, what's up, guys? Um, so this is going to be the haul. And I did look up uh, sales comps for all of these. So um, we will get to that. But I'm just going to tell them to you. Uh, my editing skills are not up to par enough to put them on the screen, but I am working towards it, and I am working towards making other content style videos, like informational, and uh, reviewing, and other comic and style media. Uh, I said in style. I did just smoke a joint, so apologies for that. Uh, anywho, let's start off with this. Uh, so I did pick up Death the life, the time of your life, issue one, um, and, and as you know, The Sandman just came out on Netflix, so I am anticipating this to go up in value, but currently it sits at about three bucks for this issue one, however, uh, the complete set is gone for around 10 to 15 on eBay, and these are completed recent sales from uh, uh, July to August, so uh, not bad. Uh, next up, and that one was $2.99, so, uh, you know, I kind of just sitting even right now, so I'm just going to sit on that one. Uh, plus, it's uh, I would love to collect it, because I am a Sandman fan. There are flies flying around my apartment right now, and my uh, cat is hunting them. So if the camera gets knocked down, it's on him, and I'm sorry. Uh, next up, I have a Grifter issue one. Now, this is the first printing, and this is a, kind of a key issue for uh, Grifter fans, if there are any out there. Um, this one's sitting right now on eBay, uh, sold listings for from anywhere from I saw a dollar up to the most being about 15, but it was usually around 5 to 10, so um, I'll try to sell it for 10 if I decide to sell it, and we'll see if I can get it. So, uh, this one I just picked up for the reading stack, just to read myself, um, Daredevil issue 25, and this is a, one of the more recent ones, or 21, I'm sorry, this is one of the more recent ones uh, by Zdarsky, so... Um, and then I picked up this uh, Green Lantern uh, issue 6. This is from 1990. And uh, I got it mainly because of the John Stewart cover. Uh, it just looked really cool. Um, but this one's not going for much either. I did see a sold listing and it wanted bid for like a dollar fee. Not much out there on this one. So, again, uh, maybe a Green Lantern completist would be looking for it. Uh, who knows? Here's another one I picked up for my uh, read stack, which is the Star Wars The High Republic issue number six. So, if you can hear him skidding around in the back, that's my game. Uh, next up, I picked up Steve Rogers Captain America issue one, and this is from the Heroes Return era after the first Heroes Reborn era. So, uh, this one is by Mark Wayne, um, and it is actually sitting. It's a decent book. Uh, I could probably get about five to ten bucks off of it. So not bad. Pick up for a dollar. And it's always nice to have a cat. There we go. Issue one. Okay, now this one 
Um, I did go ahead and pick up Red Wolf issue number eight, and this is Silver Age. I believe this one is from '73. Um, as far as completed comps go, there weren't a whole lot, but the ones I did find were going anywhere from 10 to the highest I saw, going for about 30. And uh, the graded copies of, of this were actually going for uh, significantly higher. Um, but you never know with the MCU, they might make a Red Wolf movie or have them in a show. And I do like the character, there was actually a Marvel Now uh, series that was quite good. Uh, probably a lot better than this one, because... Uh, yeah, let's just look at this cover and see how poorly that aged. But uh, I never pass up Silver Age books. Especially for $1. Uh, next up, I got Quest Pro featuring Spider Man, issue 2. And this features uh, Spider Man versus Mysterio. And this one, oddly enough, was going from like, I saw the lowest comps at about 5, all the way up to like 30 to 40. So. I'm thinking this was a good find, and uh, this is a pretty crisp copy. I do need to get that bag boarded, but uh, not a whole lot of uh, issues with this one. So for a dollar, cannot complain. The cover looks amazing. It is a direct edition, but uh, I shouldn't have any problem getting about 25 bucks for this. Uh, next up, I picked this up just because it was cool, and it, the cover was just <clears throat> honestly very sick. Um, but it's Vertigo Jam issue one. I think this is from '93. But it features, you know, Hellraiser, we got John Constantine, we got some Doom Patrol characters, we got Dream, um, I think that's Starman, um, but we have Mike Alred, Neil Gaiman, a lot of uh, Jackson Pollock, Milligan, Steve Dillon, from Preacher fame, so a lot of, uh, a lot of cool Vertigo creators in here, so I picked this up, uh, the comps for this one were like, two to five bucks so not a loss there and it's definitely a cool piece for the collection um, next up i picked up conan the barbarian issue number 158 and this is a really good copy um, this is from 1983 and it's not the first appearance of red sonia but it does feature her in it, and she is on the cover so i shouldn't have any problem getting about uh 20 25 bucks out of this one so really cool I need to get these all banged and boarded. I haven't done it yet, but uh, I need to buy some more. Um, and this will be my last item of the day. I have the Incredible Hulk, issue number 393, the 30th anniversary special, with that foil cover. And uh, this is a new stand, so I shouldn't have a problem getting about 20 to 25 for this one either. Uh, but this generally goes from anywhere from a dollar to 10 to 15. So. But since it is a new stand, I'm thinking I might be able to get 20, but we'll see. Uh, all in all, very good haul for the day. I only spent about $14. So, the Book and Music Exchange in Louisville, Kentucky on Preston Highway. Check it out if you get a chance. Alright, thank you so much. And remember guys, subscribe, like the video, comment what you want to see me do next. Comment if there's any stores in Louisville or anywhere you want me to go. Comment if you want me to make any other type of videos. Alrighty, I'm signing off. Peace.